Did you hear about the guy who fell in the well? He didn't see that well. Today, I'm going to recap a 2015 action crime film called The Marine 4, Moving Target. The narrative initiates with Jake Carter, an erstwhile member of the U.S. Marine Corps, coming to consciousness and reading himself for the forthcoming day. Once prepared, he selects his armament and makes his way to his job at Hawthorne Global Security. Upon reaching the airport, Jake alongside other security personnel await the arrival of an informant known as Liv Tannis. He is welcomed by Robert Daniel, the head of the organization, who commends him on his previous achievements and the distinctions he has garnered. Considering this is Jake's inaugural mission, it's crucial he demonstrates a robust performance. As the aircraft touches down, he unexpectedly encounters his old lieutenant from his marine days. He becomes aware that the individual they are designated to protect, Liv, holds crucial data required for apprehending the heads of a corporation called Genesis, which is facing charges for fraudulent and other illegal activities. The moment Liv disembarks from the aircraft, she shows a tough demeanor, leading the lieutenant to instruct the troops to practice additional vigilance around her. During the drive, a dispute erupts between Liv and Jake, with neither being cognizant of the looming danger that is about to unfold. En route to Liv's protective custody, a rocket launcher targets the vehicle ahead of their SUV. They attempt to reverse, yet the rocket launcher strikes the rear vehicle. A band of thugs initiate gunfire at Liv's car, prompting Jake to instruct everyone to evacuate. A fierce gunfight breaks out between the thugs and security personnel. Jake shields Liv, successfully neutralizing numerous thugs. Suddenly, Liv endeavors to flee the chaos, sprinting into the forest, but Jake pursues her to ensure her safety from the remaining mercenaries. Subsequently, the mercenaries, aided by a sniper, systematically eliminate all the security personnel. The mercenaries' leader, Vogel, commands a search for Liv. In the forest, Liv faces two mercenaries, but Jake intervenes, neutralizing them after one discloses her location. Jake urges Liv to remain by his side, although she appears distrustful. As the mercenaries score the forest for their whereabouts, Jake attempts to communicate with the others, but to no success. Abruptly, a hail of bullets from the mercenaries ensues, but Jake hastily grabs Liv, and they dash to safety. The duo manage to elude the mercenaries by commandeering their vehicle and steer towards a safe haven. Upon their arrival at the domicile, he undertakes a meticulous inspection to ascertain there are no unknown individuals lurking within. Once securely inside, Liv suddenly brandishes her handgun, aiming it towards him. He articulates that an unaccompanied venture to the police precinct would lead to an ambush, notwithstanding her assertion of distrust towards him on account of their lack of personal acquaintance. He succeeds in convincing her of his prior marine status and his unwavering commitment to her safety, as abandoning her would signify mission failure. After a brief interlude, she relinquishes the firearm to him. Concurrently, Vogel scrutinizes Jake's profile, briefing his crew that the girl and he are now in solitude together. Subsequently, as Liv refreshes herself in the restroom, Jake consolidates his armaments, recognizing the urgency to locate a new refuge following their exposure. He discerns from a surveillance feed that a vehicle is advancing towards their hideaway. It transpires that two Justice Department security agents, Nathan and Ethan, astonishingly evaded the mercenaries, unscathed. With this additional intel, Jake's skepticism towards them intensifies, prompting an interrogation. Post Nathan's disclosure regarding Vogel and the incident, Ethan unexpectedly assassinates him with a gunshot to the head, alleging treachery within their ranks. This revelation steers Jake towards the belief of Ethan's alliance with Vogel. Amidst these developments, a petrified Liv observes the unfolding scenario, hastily arming herself. Subsequently, Ethan unveils his gun, menacing Jake to disclose Liv's whereabouts. He professes to have concealed her, foreseeing the traitor's arrival at this juncture. In an effort to divert Ethan, Liv dashes out of the abode, triggering the security alert. Ethan's attention veers, enabling Jake to engage him. A vigorous brawl ensues, with Ethan wielding a knife in an assault on Jake. Amidst the skirmish, the mercenary brigade descends upon the residence. Jake sprints outdoors as the mercenaries unleash a barrage of gunfire. He seizes Liv's firearm, neutralizing a few mercenaries. 
Eventually, they manage to abscond aboard a boat. Post-disembarkation, they traverse across the creek together. Jake discerns that the mercenaries' relentless pursuit will persist until they succeed in terminating Liv. The young lady asserts her capability to devastate their existences, hence their desperate chase. She unveils her possession of critical intel concerning a corporation dubbed Genesis, which orchestrated the demise of two U.S. Armed Forces squads. As he gears up to continue the voyage, unexpectedly, she strikes him on the head with a rock. Following his blackout, she dashes away. Concurrently, a mercenary stumbles upon Jake and Liv's boat, albeit devoid of their presence. Liv scurries onto the road, hails a ride, and a trucker obliges, escorting her to the police precinct. Having recuperated, Jake traces the vestiges left by Liv. He spots a passing patrol car. Acquainted with the direction to the precinct where Liv is headed, he commandeers a nearby vehicle, tailing the patrol car. At the precinct, Liv articulates her predicament of a malevolent faction endeavoring to annihilate her. Shortly, Jake arrives at the precinct, searching for her, yet a law officer confiscates his documents, directing him to abide. Meanwhile, Liv strives to elucidate her scenario to police detective, Redman. The detective accosts Jake, notifying him of their takeover of the matter. Liv perceives a miss, attempting to exit, but is restrained by an officer. Shortly, Redman receives a call from Ethan, who accuses Jake Carter of complicity in Liv's assault, branding him as immensely perilous. Ethan purports his governmental affiliation, urging the arrest of Jake and Liv and their handover to him. Subsequently, the agents apprehend the duo. Eventually, Ethan alongside other mercenaries descends upon the precinct. Vogel readies to infiltrate with his crew, but Ethan opts for a solo, cleaner approach. He accesses the precinct, requesting a dialogue with Redman. Contrarily, Vogel and his gang intrude, commencing a slaughter of the officers and staff therein. Jake purloins a handcuff key from a deceased officer, liberating Liv as well. He seizes a firearm, successfully neutralizing some mercenaries. He escorts Liv outdoors, instructing her to liaise with the Attorney General. He re-enters the precinct, aiding the agents in combating the mercenaries. Shortly, the agents dash outdoors, with Jake providing cover. The quartet of officers attempting escape are executed within the police car. Vogel assails Jake with a grenade launcher, momentarily disorienting him. Jake swiftly exits, exterminating two mercenaries. Shortly thereafter, Liv emerges in a car, whisking Jake along. They manage a narrow escape, albeit pursued by a mercenary fleet. Vogel ceaselessly assails Jake landing a shot on his arm. Post the subsequent crossfire during the pursuit, Jake neutralizes the driver ahead, thereby barricading Vogel's brigade within a tunnel. Jake and Liv halt within a woodland, owing to the car's overheated engine. The mercenaries locate their car, with Vogel proposing a pedestrian chase. However, Ethan advises a deferment till dawn. Throughout the night, Liv administers care to Jake's wound. She expresses remorse for her initial disbelief, which Jake dismisses with reassurance. Thereafter, she confides the access credentials to the dossier bearing the incriminating evidence against Genesis, anticipating her potential demise. They persist in their quest for a signal to liaise with the Attorney General, yet fruitlessly. Come morning, Jake urges Liv to venture beyond the forest, seek a roadway, and abscond. Conversely, she elects to remain by his side, confronting the mercenaries. Subsequently, a scene unveils the mercenaries treading cautiously through the forest, scouting for the duo. Ethan intercepts a come unique from Genesis Heads, pressing Vogel for Liv's immediate elimination. Abruptly, Jake engages Vogel over the radio, initiating a dialogue, a tactic to divert Vogel. Shortly, he snipes a pair of mercenaries, triggering a gunfire exchange. He embarks on a retreat, with the mercenaries on his trail, luring them into a snare. Liv commences her offensive, redirecting the mercenaries' focus towards her. They trail her, ensnaring themselves within her trap. Jake orchestrates a stealthy ambush from the rear, silencing them. Successively, a scene depicts Liv evading a mercenary, who succumbs to a trap conceived by Jake overnight. Ultimately, Jake and Liv regroup, eluding Vogel and his henchmen. They pause briefly, 
only to be sighted by a mercenary who initiates a gunfire. Another pursuit ensues where a trap devised by Jake nearly annihilates Vogel. Instead, it claims one from Vogel's entourage, yet Vogel resolves to persist. Ethan, however, deems this perilous, suspecting Jake's widespread trap deployment. Concurrently, Liv and Jake persevere in their escape. Jake provides cover for Liv's retreat as they diverge paths. Shortly, another mercenary falls prey to Jake's lethal trap. Following a brief interval, a female mercenary corners Jake, initiating a close combat. Jake outmaneuvers her, employing her as a human shield against another mercenary's attack, resulting in her demise. Suddenly, it becomes apparent that Ethan has located Liv, holding her captive. She strikes his hand and flees. Consequently, a skirmish ensues between Jake and Ethan. As Ethan gains an advantage, throttling Jake, Liv intervenes, shooting Ethan in the head. Without warning, Vogel shoots Jake in the shoulder, disorienting him and rendering him unconscious. Liv is then directed by Vogel to proceed, but en route, she divulges that she has already disseminated all the incriminating data on Genesis Online. Vogel brandishes his weapon, landing a blow to her head. In a split second, Jake lunges at Vogel, instigating a face-off. The discord escalates, with Vogel momentarily gaining the upper hand. However, Jake overturns the situation, catching Vogel off guard, and terminates him by snapping his neck. The following day, prior to her flight, Liv rendezvous with Jake, apprising him that six affiliates of the Genesis Defense Corporation have been charged with treason and conspiracy. Post-gifting him a tuxedo, she bestows a heartfelt kiss on his cheek before embarking on the aircraft. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.